Welcome everybody to another episode of Joey's Garage. I'm Joey and this isn't my garage. We're upstairs in my house in the video editing bay where I do all the put the footage together that I did for my garage. Whatever I'm doing, I put it on the computer, you know, upload it, splice it all together, try and make it somewhat watchable and upload it to YouTube. But today I'm going to answer a question that I got from a viewer, um, Amanda, about adding sound to your project on Cyberlink PowerDirector 14. That's the software that I use. I found it to be super easy to use. I just throw in the footage, kind of put in my transitions, put it all together, make it somewhat watchable, I hope, and upload it to YouTube. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. I have a project that I'm just about done. I just need to throw in the audio, throw in a couple more pictures, and it'll be ready to produce and upload to YouTube. If you have questions about producing, go ahead. There should be a banner or something along there of how to actually produce a high quality HD video and upload it to YouTube. But this time, I'm just talking about audio. So, listen what I'm here, or listen what I'm saying, and watch what I'm doing. All right, so I'm now I'm in my project. I just finished editing it up. And I have the last clip ready, and then I have my outgoing kind of my uh, splash page. From here, all I need to do is add in my exit sound that I always put at the end of my episodes. So to do that, I'm just going to open up the folder that I have all my whole project saved in and I have my exit sound right here. So I'll just bring it over, drag it into the project and there we go. It's inside. So I'll just line it up to make sure it's nice and even and I have a good exit on the, on the way out. And that's it. Very easy setup. So from here, I usually like to have it kind of fade out. So to do that, all I need to do is go over to my mixer room and tell it with this little triangle right here that I want it to fade out. So there we go. Sometimes it may not fade all the way. You may get this little bubble right here telling you that it's going to fade out, out, out. And then it's going to creep up just a little bit. So to just correct that, you can click on the little bubble, bring it down all the way so it's out. And as you can see, now the audio is going to play, 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 play. Once it hits this point where my cursor was at, it'll start to fade down, 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 and then it's going to be out. And there we go. As I said, very simple. From here, I can just save it. Go ahead, go over to my producing, produce it as one video, and upload it to YouTube. Very easy process, as I said. Cyberlink has made this a very easy, user-friendly interface. So, I think that wraps up the episode. As I said, Cyberlink PowerDirector 14 is what I use, and they make it super easy for producing, editing, uploading, all that stuff. It's very user, inter uh, very user interface friendly and very intuitive. So I hope that answers your question, Amanda. Thank you very much for asking. As I said, I, I try and help out as much as I can. If anybody else has any questions, thoughts, concerns, you want to reach me, go ahead, Twitter, email, Facebook, all that kind of jazz, reach out. I'm trying to do as much as I can. You know, I have a busy schedule of my own, so I do what I can. But I love helping out other people. So thank you for watching, and stay safe.